Hello and welcome, my name is David from Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Now today, we've got this lovely three bedroom, semi detached house on the market, for sale in Flaxton Road in Plumstead. Now this house is in a very nice part of the road. It's at the top end of Flaxton Road, which is much wider than the bottom end. The house is offered with immediate vacant possession. It has had a kitchen extension at the back as well. And as you can see, I'm just gonna to move to the side. It's got a huge driveway. So this is your own private driveway. You can get four or five cars in it and it's got a very large garage at the rear as well so let's start showing you around inside okay so we're now in the entrance hall so there's a bit of carpet runs throughout the hallway and the stairs radiator there there's just a small under stairs cupboard housing your meters in there as well got a double place entrance door at the front now this property is a little dated inside, so it does require some updating decor wise and carpeting wise and so forth. And the kitchens and bathrooms, whilst functional, are a little dated, but they're all in usable condition and very livable as of right now. So it's one of those houses, in my opinion, where you can move straight in, and just do the work as and when you wish to do so. Right, okay, so we're now in through lounge. So you've got these double glazed leaded windows at the front. And I believe it's a really nice little aspect out the front there. So it's a, a very nice view. You know, the house across the road is quite far away from you. She's not really overlooked. And the back garden is not overlooked as well. So it is a nice position, I believe. So you've got this brick fireplace that runs along the wall here. Got double glazed French doors that lead out to the garden. Peak of the garden while you're here. So all the walls are bare plaster walls, bare plaster ceilings, so there's no sort of artex or wallpaper that you've got to take off here. So in that regard, it's quite easy to sort of change the decor as and when you want to do so. I mentioned at the front that the house has had a kitchen extension, so it gives it a decent size kitchen now. So you've got a decent range of light oak fitted wall and base units and as I said they are a little dated but they're very well kept and maintained so as, as I mentioned at the risk of repeating myself it is a, a house I believe that you can move straight into and just do the work as and when you wish to do so. The appliances are, the uh, owners are happy to leave so there's a washing machine here, a dishwasher there, integrated electric oven hob extractor there as well and there's also fridge freezer right there as well so it's all, all these appliances are they're happy to be left behind if the incoming buyer wishes to have them you've got a door that leads out to the garden which will go outside the end after I've been upstairs so I'll take you upstairs now So here on our landing, you've got a window to the side, so that gives you that extra light that comes into the house. So this is slightly the larger room. There's really hardly any difference between this room and the front bedroom. They appear different sizes because of the wardrobes in them. So it's got a bank of fitted wardrobes here. Quite deep fitted. We're out there. That's your view out the back. So it's a nice little aspect, as I mentioned, it's not overlooked at all. So it is a nice little view from here. So a bit of carpet, has got wallpaper in this room. And you've also got your hot water cylinder in this part of wardrobe so it's not a combination boiler it's a original boiler system in here this is the other bedroom front again it's got fitting wardrobes here so it gives you a little bit of a 
front of the house. So again, it's a nice aspect. You know, don't you know, visit the, you know, the road there. You haven't got hardly anyone looking over you. So it's quite a big selling point to be in this house. So two good size double rooms. And then you have your third bedroom. Now this third bedroom has been fitted again with wardrobes in it. So wouldn't normally have this many wardrobes uh, in this you know, third bedroom like this. So most of the time they've been taken, they would be taken out and covered and get a single bed in here, but it looks obviously smaller because of the wardrobes being fitted in here. And you've got a window that faces the side and the front, so you've got to get that extra bit of natural light and a nice vantage point as well. And then you have your upstairs bathroom. So it's quite sweet. Tiling is actually quite reasonably modern in my opinion actually. Quite tiling, it's not sort of too old fashioned or too dated. So you've got your bath there with mixer tap. And you've also got uh, a shower unit there as well. Glass shower screen. Oh yeah, right. Nice bathroom in my opinion. Right, let's take you outside to the garden. Okay, so we've just come out the kitchen door, and as you can see, we've got a nice patio area here. And you have your lawn area. Now, the garden is southeasterly facing. You get a decent amount of sunshine in the garden. Got a gate there that leads out to the driveway and the garage, which I'll show you shortly. It's a very nice garden, this. Gives you some idea of the size of the garage here. So it is a very big garage. It's the rear of the house, as you can see. So you can see the kitchen extension. And this point. And the outside water tap. Outside lighting. And then, so we'll just walk through the garage so just from this angle again see how big that driveway is it is a really large driveway which again is a big selling point in my opinion okay I'm just going to open up the garage and show you inside 